What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Frames Janklin Vapor channel. Back at you guys for another Wednesday review and today we're going to be taking a look at an RT8 from Times Vape and it is the Diesel RT8 by Times Vape and Ambitions Vapor. So of course as always guys we're going to go ahead and jump down to the table show you the ins and outs of this Diesel RT8 itself and of course give you a quick run through of the packaging and everything that comes inside. Of course we're going to throw some coils on this thing get them all wicked up you know fill up the tank all that good stuff and then of course we'll jump back up give you guys pros cons final thoughts thoughts and all that good stuff so with that being said you guys already know what time it is we're gonna go ahead and jump down to the table now so we'll see you guys in the down low all right guys here we are down low with the diesel rta by times vape and ambitions vapor so this is the packaging your diesel rta is going to come in right up at the top you do have times vape with diesel and diesel rta down the center right here with a nicotine wearing which of course doesn't apply until you do fill this up with some nicotine containing e-liquid right here on this side you do have project by ambitions vapor on this side you do have a little disclaimer so if you guys want to give that a quick pause and read through you can go ahead and do that now Right here on this side, you have another project by Ambitions Vapor, and up here at the top, you do have Times Vape, and of course, all their social media at Official Times Vape, and their website, www.timesvape.com. Right here on the back, you do have some specifications and kit content, so if you guys want to give that a quick pause and read through, you can do so. Also, down here at the bottom, you do have your color indication right there with your barcode and your scratch and check authentication right there as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside, shall we? So let's pop the top, start off right here with this little box here. It says Times Vape right there. Inside, you do have all of your spares here, guys. So you've got a little blue screwdriver. You've got some spare O-rings, some spare grub screws, and these little peak sleeves here as well that actually go over to the grub screws, and we'll actually show you what those are for here in a second as well. Next up, you have your 5 mil bubble tank section here. Both tank sections for this tank are this frosted PMMA of some sort. So that's just one thing I wanted to point out for you guys. So this is 5 mil bubble glass right there, guys. And it does come with the 2 mil pre-installed. So let's go ahead and take a look at the RTA itself. So inside the sleeve, you do have your diesel RTA by Times Vape and Ambitions Vapor up at the top. 810 drip tip guys held in with a single o-ring right there haven't had any issues with that whatsoever holds on nice and snug as you can see got a little bit of knurling with diesel engraved right here up at the top on both sides right there with that added knurling that adds a little bit of extra grip to aid with that top film method right there of course you do have your afc ring here as well guys that uh is free spinning no stoppers on this thing at all but of course you can adjust that down however you would like so let's go ahead and unscrew this and show you the top fill method here. Do have two nice big kidney shaped holes on either side for filling guys. And of course this AFC ring is also just held on with a single O-ring up here at the top guys. So if you want to take this off when cleaning, make sure you get all the juice and stuff out of there. You can do so and then it just slides right back into place. Right here you can see your top airflow section guys. So your air is going to come in through here continue down through this section and of course it's going to go down and around the internal chimney section which i'm going to go ahead and show you guys here in a second so that's the top of the rta down at the bottom you do have your diesel logo along with times vape and your serial number right there and a very nice protruding 510 pen with peak insulator so definitely hybrid safe because this is a static 510 pin. But of course, guys, make sure if you're ever going to throw any sort of atomizer on a uh, mechanical mod, make sure it's got a static protruding 510 pin, guys, just to be safe. So right here down at the bottom as well, you do have that knurling continued with a little bit some divots going on there. Adds to the overall aesthetics and adds to the grip on this to make it easy to take this deck section out of here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to unscrew the tank and pull off the top. As you can see right here, guys, this is your actual chimney section right there that goes around the actual deck. And the airflow goes along the sides right here. So it's going to come down through those holes right there on the sides, as you can see. And then, of course, come through your honeycomb airflow on either side of the deck right there, guys. And that is just held on with a O-ring right here up at the top. There is an O-ring there that slides around that little post that comes down from the top fill. So we're gonna do set this stuff off to the side. Do you have a, a conical shape kind of going on here? Not a whole you know crazy type situation, but there's a little bit of that conical shape going on there. Right here, you do have your two 
half pipe honeycomb style airflows guys you got quite a few holes going on there very reminiscent of like the recurve or like the reload s you know we definitely have seen this in the past but right there you do have your four post holes right there with your two wicking ports on either side and of course uh, what i wanted to show you is as you can see you do have one of those little peak sleeves around that greb screw and of course you got another one going over here on this side and that is because your deck is separated right here from negative and positive so they continued you know for a little extra protection right there with your greb screws adding those peak insulator sleeves so of course that's you know the ins and outs of this thing here guys what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and throw some coils in this thing wick them up fill up the tank and then you know do a little bit of vaping give you guys some pros cons final thoughts and all that good stuff so with that being said we'll see you guys after the build And here we are, guys, back up top with the Diesel RTA by Times Vape and Ambitions Vapors. So, of course, we're going to start with our pros and work our ways to our cons with this thing here. I'm going to start off with the overall looks and, you know, aesthetics of this. I will say, you know, I kind of dig the overall look of this thing here. It's a little bit on the taller side, you know, RTA-wise, you know, because it does have that top airflow, you know, top fill type situation going on here. But uh, I, I got to say, I'm really digging it on top of this Jackaroo mod by Vandy Vape. Review will be coming up for this thing very soon as well. But I've been really digging the overall look of this thing here. I think it looks pretty damn slick. Do you have some knurling going up at the top that not only adds to the aesthetics, but adds to a little bit of a grip for that top fill. It makes it a real easy to get that thing on and off and you go filling up the tank and stuff like that and that is continued on down here at the bottom of this thing as well and uh, like I said in the download this is a 27 that tapers down to a 25 so it will fit flush 
on any of your 25 millimeter mods or anything like that but of course it is 27 at its widest point here and uh, with that knurling down at the bottom makes it really easy to take this thing apart for cleaning rewicking rebuilding any of those types of situations and I will say I do like the look of it overall guys pretty pretty slick looking tank if you were to ask me so that that's definitely gonna be a pro really digging this 810 tip that comes up on the top too a little bit more low pro which is definitely more my style and I gotta say what the smoke tip does look good with the black and you know the tank session that's coming on here one thing I also love is that they do add in that extra bubble glass that five mil bubble glass that takes it up from two mil capacity with the stock tank to five mils with that bubble glass so that's gonna be a pro adds a little bit to the capacity so if you want to go on a, like a drive or something like that and you're gonna be in the car for a while you want a little bit of extra bait time you could throw that bubble glass on there and get, get that extra three mils and then you know get a little bit more bait time off it so that's definitely gonna be a pro for me as well when it comes to the inside and the deck type situation in the build uh, definitely easy to build on this thing guys you got that post style deck that we've seen very reminiscent of like the recurve and you know like the reload s and stuff like that but with the dual coil version going on here got that half pipe honeycomb style airflow situation here pretty easy to build you just cut your legs drop your coils right down in there tighten your screws down and of course you know just adjust them to where you think they need to be with that airflow of course you guys seen where I have mine set in that bill section and then you just wick it up which is pretty easy to do as well I haven't had any dry hit issues or anything like that definitely haven't had any leaks because of that top airflow going on here I've even had this thing you know fall over on my desk and sit on its side for a while and didn't realize it picked it up no leaks no gurgling or anything like that so I will say that's gonna be a pro but uh, yeah when it comes to overall build guys super easy to build super easy to wick haven't had too many issues you know when it comes to dry hits or leaking or anything like that so it's definitely gonna be a pro as well and uh, you know the flavor pretty good flavor on this thing guys I will say um, one thing I will note though when it comes to that I have left some juice in this thing overnight you know or in like kind of you know throughout the day and then went to go and vape on it I did notice a little bit of flavor change I don't know if it's necessarily from the tank section being this plastic PMMA or whatever this thing is made out of or if it's just necessarily just the juice sitting in the tank itself uh, but I did notice that but you know with a fresh build fresh wicks you know and stuff like that and you haven't let it sit too long pretty good flavor out of this thing I will say that and the airflow is you know on the smooth side I will say as you restrict it down it does get this little bit of a whistling type sound that has absolutely got on my nerves but you know overall the airflow is pretty smooth um, let's kind of just jump into some of the cons on this thing now guys like I said we'll start off with the airflow um, it does get a little bit of a weird sound as you restrict it down I will say wide open I do tend to usually walk mine wide open because it does have a little bit of restriction and I've got a little bit of a lower build in this thing so it's got a little bit of a warmth so I like a little bit of extra airflow but uh, if I got like a higher resistance build in here like I had a 0 0.22 0 0.25 in this and uh, I restricted it down a little bit and it, as I restricted it down I started noticing it started getting this weird whistle sound so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a couple pulls you know a little bit closer to the mic so you guys can hear and just so you can see how the difference is from a wide open to you know cutting it down so this is gonna be wide open you know it's very smooth swooshy you know no turbulence or anything going on there with with it wide open so I will say when it when it's set there it is pretty damn good airflow and I'm gonna cut it down uh, you know cut it down about a quarter way here it's still pretty smooth but it, with a little bit more restriction of course because it is tightened down but it starts getting kind of a little bit of a whistle and as I tighten it down more let's go about three quarters three quarters when that whistle really starts to kick in and then you cut it about a quarter of the way down gets a super super high pitched whistle so that's just one thing to keep note of and one thing that can be a little bit bothersome depending on where you've got your airflow set uh, I will say wide open it does you know have a nice smooth airflow and it doesn't have that crazy whistle sound but as you restrict it down it does start to whistle so that's you know one thing to keep note of and a little bit of a con for me also when it comes to the airflow when it comes to the AFC ring itself it is super super loose on this tank uh, you know I'll kind of just sit here and pick it up and notice that you know my airflow is completely moved there's no stopper either way it just spins freely on top of this thing and it is just held on by an o-ring like you guys seen in the down low um, I wish maybe that o-ring tolerance was just a little bit tighter so whenever I set it it would stay there and it would still you know have a little bit of you know tension to it to where I'll still be able to adjust it but it would still sit where I set it at because I've noticed sometimes you know from picking this up or you know taking it in and out of my pocket that that AFC does you know move a little bit on me so that's gonna be a little bit of a con as well one other thing on this thing that I'm not a huge fan of is both the tank sections that come with this are this plastic so if you use something that's like really sweet or really high in some citrus or anything like that you're definitely not gonna want to leave any of those juices in this tank 
you know, overnight or, you know, like let it sit on your desk with juice in it that has like a citrus or super sweetness in it because that is going to end up cracking one of these tanks. I haven't had it happen to me yet, but that's one thing that I'm very wary of and, you know, kind of going to be a con. I really wish they maybe even just the stock glass, they would have just done a regular glass section and then maybe just the bubble as the plastic. But, you know, it is what it is, you know, can kind of, you know, weigh that out for, you know, your own decision on picking this thing up or not. And uh, one thing that I'm not really a huge fan of either is when you take this thing apart, to, you know, or take the top part off to fill it, um, there's nothing really holding that chimney part in there. Like you could literally put your finger in there and that chimney section will move. And I, I, I don't know, it's, I don't think it's necessarily going to hurt anything. I don't know if it's going to like slide over and hit your coils, but I would definitely suggest if you're going to fill this uh, RCA up, shutting your mod off, that way you don't end up hitting the button or anything like that, just in case that chimney happens to move on you or something like that, because the only thing holding it on is that little divot right there. So that's just one other little thing on this that I'm not a huge fan of. But overall, guys, it's, you know, it's a pretty good vape. It's got some good flavor. The airflow is pretty smooth with it wide open, but as you cut it down, like I said, it does get a little bit of a whistle to it, and, you know, it kind of something that kind of bugs me personally. Um, I do like the look of the tank overall. I will say the build on this is definitely very easy to build on. You know, postless style deck, pretty straightforward. You know, definitely if you've built on a postless deck before, you know, it's pretty much the same deal going on here. And of course, you know, might need to just do a little bit of play with your coil placement, you know, to get flavor, the best flavor experience. Of course, you know, where you guys seen mine in the downloads where I've been getting the best overall flavor for me personally. And yeah, guys, I do think it's a pretty good looking tank. So, of course, you guys can check this out. This is uh, from Times Vape and Ambitions Vapor. I think they did an, uh, an okay job. I definitely think there's some improvements that could have been done on this. You make it just that much better. But, you know, that is what it is. And, you know, that's just my thoughts on this thing personally, guys. So, of course, thank you guys for joining me for this review and checking out the Diesel RTA by Times Vape and Ambitions Vapor. Make sure you guys tune in for this Friday's Green Room with me and my boy Sean Typhon. And who knows, you might see a special guest on the show. You might just see us kicking it. But it's always something we look forward to, hanging out with all you guys on chat on Fridays before the vapes do and all that good stuff. So, with all that being said, guys, we're sending out all those positive vibes and crisp by fives as always. And, yeah, let's just vape on, y'all.